This episode's book is entitled Machines Like Me. Uh, it's Ian McEwen's latest. And I want to start simply by reading a few sentences. Does that mean, therefore, that it's possible to solve problems in advance? At last, the mathematics was saying, yes, it's possible, and here's how. Our computers no longer had to sample the world on a trial and error basis and correct for best solutions. We had a means of instantly predicting best routes to an answer. It was liberation. The floodgates opened. Self-awareness and every emotion came within our technical reach. We had the ultimate learning machine. Now, what's this all about? Uh, the main character of the book is a fellow named Charlie, and he's a little bit of a ne'er-do-well, uh, hasn't amounted to much in life, but he has some money available to him. Uh, his girlfriend, Miranda, is very bright, uh, sort of a contrast to Charlie, and she has pushed him some. Um, for reasons I won't go into in this brief uh, episode, uh, Charlie wanted to buy one of these uh, robots that this uh, segment I just read uh, implied. And he did. The robot was named Adam, and Adam was very self-aware. Um, you know, we always think of uh, robots as being, you know, helpers to humankind. You know, they're labor-saving devices. We see it in the industry. We now see it in homes with the Roomba. Uh, other sorts of robotics are becoming fairly prevalent now. Um, but what happens if they became self-aware? if they became able to think and to um, establish, you know, a moral sense within themselves that they could act on. Well, that's the whole project here. And uh, Adam fulfills the role initially of being able to uh, do chores for uh, Charlie and Miranda uh, being a good companion, talks to them, uh, can converse on different subjects because it can access all sorts of information. But it also <laughs> uh, accesses information that makes life difficult for uh, Charlie and uh, Miranda, uh, really causes some changes in their life. So is robotics a good or bad thing? That's the question McEwen wants to ask here. And I really urge you to uh, read the book to find out uh, at least one ramification of that sort of thing. Thanks.